Russia lost a record number of artillery in Ukraine in a month. Russia continues to lose equipment at a vast rate in its full-scale invasion, according to Ukraine, whose latest figures suggest that June is on track for its biggest monthly losses of artillery systems for the whole year. According to Newsweek, data from Ukraine's defense ministry showed that in May, Russia had lost 1,160 artillery systems, the highest total for a month since Vladimir Putin started the invasion on February the 24th, 2022. It was the first time the figure had breached four figures and was well clear of the previous highest of 947 from September 2023. But so far, it looks like June will surpass that monthly record, with artillery losses in the first nine days already reaching 453, a rate, if extrapolated over the month, would equal 1,510. The total Russian artillery losses for the war had reached 13,644, closing in on the milestone of 15,000. The tracker website Oryx, which draws on verifiable imagery, has counted losses of towed artillery of 372 and self-propelled artillery losses of 757, although the amount of equipment destroyed is significantly higher than recorded. Russian troop losses continue to climb, reaching 519,750 troops on Monday, after Kiev reported there had been 1,190 Russian casualties the previous day in figures which include both the dead and wounded. Meanwhile, Ukrainian forces attacked Russian S-400 and S-300 anti-aircraft missile systems across Crimea last Sunday, according to Ukraine's general staff. The radars of the systems reportedly stopped working immediately in the strikes near Zankoy, Chornomorsk and Yevpatoria on the occupied peninsula. None of our missiles fired were intercepted by the enemy's highly effective air defense, the general staff said without specifying the consequences of the attack or what weapons were used. On June 12, Kiev was hit by a heavy downpour, as a result of which some of the streets were flooded. Water also began to flood into some high-rise buildings. Videos of the bad weather began to be published on social networks. In particular, users report flooding on Vakvil Havel and Vasilenko streets, as well as in the area of the Industrial Bridge. Due to bad weather, emergency shutdowns began in the Kiev region. As a result of a thunderstorm with heavy rain and wind up to 25 meters per second on the morning of June 12 36 lines and 611 transformer substations were de-energized. The thunderstorm front affected all regions of the Kyiv region, Ukrainian media reported. It is reported that strong winds and rain are complicating the work, which could provoke new accidents in the networks. As of June 12, level 1 of danger due to bad weather has been declared in Kyiv and the Kyiv region. According to weather forecasters, thunderstorms and significant rain are expected in the capital. Let us remind you that the day before there were heavy rains in the Chernihiv region. In Chernihiv, individual streets of the city turned into continuous streams of water. As a result of the bad weather, trees and poles fell in the regional center, and several cars were also damaged. The Transcarpathian region also suffered from bad weather. Thus, due to intense rainfall, several dozen households were flooded and a mud flow descended on the lviv sambiruzgorod highway. Ты вообще потону, не? Может, объедем?